to switch things up a little bit because you guys know usually by now I am well I always start with some kind of lat pull down when I'm training back and biceps together and it's really because again it's pretty simple I feel like my back for the most part needs a little more width to it and you guys know any kind of pull down like that or pull up that motion for your arm and for your lats that's you know that's what's going to create more width to your back but i mean fuck i've been doing that oh my god i've been doing that for three or four years straight now and i just i just think it's time to to switch things up um i think i've kind of maxed out what i can get out of this you know out of the routine that i've been doing at least when it comes to always starting with flat pull downs i think i need to well, switch it up like I said so yeah what I'm gonna try is you know I'll do probably four sets here of this too heavy two at a little bit lighter weight and then I'll do some biceps about four sets and then I will go into some lat pull downs and the main point is going to be because I normally I'll, I'll max that machine out they have here for the lat pull down so hopefully by that point I'm already kind of pre-exhausted enough that I don't have to max it out well I know I'm not going to I'm not even going to try it at that point I'll be eight sets in already so I'm hoping because that was my problem you know when I'd come in here and start with lap pull downs I would and it's not even that I was trying to force it um but I'd go as heavy as I could and most of the time that would be maxing it out and I'd actually have to add little plates on there to make it heavy enough and I think that was just starting to create because I've been having some elbow tenderness on the inside of both my elbows and whenever I'd be doing lat pull downs down here at the bottom position is when I would really start to feel that pain there so I think I've just been again not forcing it it's just you know I'm getting stronger I think that it's just starting to get too heavy for me to do it at that weight all the time you know every Tuesday I need to just switch it up and again by the time I get to lap pull downs today I'm hoping that you know I like I can lighten the weight enough to where a it's still hard still you know intense and b it'll theoretically start to help my joints and tendons not strain so much from going heavy all the time and they can recover better that's my logic that's my thinking um yeah we'll see how it goes of course this will take some weeks and months to really start to notice if it's doing those things but yeah that's the goal i am slacking today i haven't can't tell i haven't even got my pre-workout in but yeah i'm gonna chug this pre-workout real quick and fuck what else can i say we'll start We'll start warming up. Oh, you already know. I gotta have my piece of gum. Yeah, now I'm ready.
you know, judging when it's time to switch things up to your routine and when it's not can sometimes be tricky because it's really, it's really a fine line. It really is because you want to have a set routine for long enough to where your body is actually going to start adapting and getting stronger and you can feel yourself getting stronger with those set exercises that you have in your routine, but then you don't want to carry it out too long to where stuff like this happens to where it's become so stagnant and so, I guess, well, routine that your body can start to have a negative effect and it's not enough variety and different movements in your training regimen. So it can really be a fine line trying to figure that out. Uh, one sign is you feel what I'm feeling. You start to have little minor aches and pains and injuries start to pile up. And that can be a sign that, you know, it's time to switch things and attack, you know, certain body parts from different angles, literally, <laughs> with different exercises. Different rep ranges even can be a way to change things. Yeah, it can be tricky. So if you can, it's it's best to, you know, switch things before problems like this start to occur. But, um, but yeah, I mean, even that's that's not, that's not going to happen all the time. But yeah, let's keep going up. My hope is that the, by the time I'm done warming up, this pre-workout is about ready to start kicking in. But I don't want to—I don't want to extend my warm-ups too, or drag them out too long, just to ensure that the pre-workout is kicked in. If it's not, it's not. Um, I'm gonna keep warming up and just what feels right. However long I need to take, I'll take. <sighs> Let's get the straps out. All right. So what I think I'm going to do here is I'll throw one more 45 on each side and I'll treat it like I'm actually going to do a set. But if two or three reps in, I feel like I need to go a little heavier. I'm just going to stop and add what, however much more weight I think I need to. I just don't really know because I don't ever start with this exercise. I did it one time, actually last Friday. But, I mean, each day is going to be different. So I might feel a little stronger today or a little weaker. I don't know. So, yeah, I'll throw one more plate on each side and we'll see. See what happens. I mean, I guess that weight was good enough. Well, actually, now that I think about it, it was probably pretty much just about right. I think I did 12. The last two or three were definitely, they were cheaty, <laughs> say it like that. So, yeah, we'll just, 
I'm just going to stick with this weight. Well, I don't know. I don't really know how I want to do this today. If you can't tell, I have no fucking clue. I'm thinking, like I said earlier, just four sets of this. Now, I'm trying to figure out if I want to do two with this weight or three. Fuck, I don't know. I'll just let my body tell me. I'll do one more at least. And if I feel good enough to do a third set, I will. So, yeah, let's uh, at least do one more. I just realized, just kind of sitting here thinking to myself between sets, I have not eaten enough today at all. And so that means when I get done here, I'm going to have to stuff my face a lot, actually, to make sure I get enough calories and protein in. I hate doing that shit, man. You know, a lot of people think, <laughs> they think that to get big, it's simple and easy. Maybe not easy, but they think, you know, there's not much to it, I guess. You just got to eat a lot, lift heavy weight. And, I mean, yeah, that's, in a way, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I guess they're right. But, like, the bigger you get, obviously, the more you have to eat. And it's it's not always that easy, man. It's really not. Like, I, I naturally just don't have a big appetite. I never have. That's why when I first started working out, I was 145 pounds. I just didn't eat. I was more of a... I don't know, I did a lot more cardiovascular based training, um, especially, you know, like the first five years of my of my training. So I don't know, I just didn't really rely on eating a ton because I wasn't trying to get big, you know. So now I'm like, I'm like almost maxed out with my size. Obviously, I, I hope that's not actually the case, but it feels like that. So I'm like trying to eat so much that it just becomes like a fucking chore, you know, it's, I don't know, it's, it's kind of weird to say that eating can be a chore because you think about eating and it's like, you know, it's eating, it's not much to it, but when you're trying to get big or bigger, it gets harder and harder with the more with the more size you try to put on, but that's just part of it, man. You gotta you gotta suck it up and <laughs> and do it, or else just pretty much try to be okay with being the size that you are, because you're not gonna get much bigger if you don't. Anyways, let's stop ranting and <laughs> do another set. <clears throat> I think I'll be okay to do one more set with this weight. It won't be easy, but that's the point. That was definitely tough. 
But again, it's kind of what we're going for here. If it's not challenging, your body's not going to respond and grow. If it's just fucking easy, your body has no reason to grow if it can do it easily. So, yeah, this is the whole point. Yeah, let me go down to four plates. I'll probably, since I'm only doing four sets here instead of five like I normally do, I'll probably do a drop set. So we'll go down to four, do a set, and then go down to three, do as many as we can, and call it here. All right, guys. While I'm setting these straps up, I'll say real quick, just three sets in, and my lats are they are feeling pretty good already. So, you know, I don't want to jump to any conclusions here, but I think what I'm doing, and just, you know, it's nothing crazy, but I'm just switching my routine up a little bit. Almost, I'm almost just rearranging the order I do things. I think it's going to work out pretty good. Again, I don't want to jump to any conclusions. I kind of just did though. <laughs> but uh, just judging it off of how my lats feel after only three sets, and I went pretty heavy. Like when I when I was going heavy on the lat pull downs, my lats were not were not feeling it this much as they are when I went three sets heavy on this. So we'll see. Time will tell. <sighs> Uh. 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 All right, let's go down to three plates. Oh man. All right. I'm probably just going to do preacher curls today. Last week I did unilateral. So one arm at a time. This week we're going to keep it a little simpler and just do both arms. Probably four sets. Probably just like I did here. I'll do three sets heavy, one set a little lighter uh, with a possible drop set. Holy shit. These feel really good today. <laughs> Whew. 
All right, one more. One more at this weight, and then we'll do one final back down set. I don't know what it was about these today, but they fucking worked. They feel great in the most horrible way. <laughs> they fucking, they did the trick. Shit. All right. Let me bring it up from 150. Put it on 110. A couple, bring it up a couple notches. I'll wait like another minute. Do one more. And then, like I said, probably, I, I see myself doing a drop set, but... My bi- like I like I always say, my biceps and triceps are not at the forefront of my priorities of getting bigger. So I might not do a drop set. I'll just see how this next one goes. Okay, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and do a drop set. I will admit, I got to talking in between those two sets. So that's that's probably why it was easier than what it should have been. That's all right, though. We'll make up for the drop set here. I hit a wall out of nowhere there. What I was trying to do is almost like when you're doing 21s, you know, you'll do seven halfway, seven the other half. I wasn't necessarily completely doing it like that, but I was just trying to do as many as I could with the constant tension being from the stretch position and about halfway from here. And then I was going to do as many as I could from there, you know, from halfway to all the way contracted. And I just hit a fucking wall. Like it was not happening. Yeah, my bicep. Honestly, I don't know what it is about biceps and triceps. Obviously, that's probably the best body part I have. And it's because, like, I could stop right now with biceps. Four sets and a drop set. And I feel like my biceps would respond. Maybe not grow with just four sets, but they definitely, you know, I would get what I needed out of it. I, I feel like I couldn't necessarily get that with certain other body parts just four sets you know that's but for whatever reason i get really really good mind muscle connection with my biceps and my triceps it's just i don't know that's just how it is it's different for everybody for me arms is it's the easiest for me to really feel it and get good response anyways let's um let's move on to another back all right i'm really I'm really curious, and I will say I'm optimistic about how this is going to go. I don't know. I just feel like I can actually really isolate and focus on my lats because I'll admit it, you know, when I first come in here and start with the lat pull downs on back and biceps, I mean, yes, I'm still trying to isolate my lats as much as I can, but on the other side of the coin, I was 
ego lifting a little bit. You know, I'm trying to go as heavy as I can as well. So at this point in the workout, about halfway done, the weight is not really, not really a factor at all. That's not what I'm worried about. Um, I just want to get good reps and sets and isolate my lats as much as I can here. So I have it on 16. Don't know if that's going to be too heavy or not heavy enough. I'm basically just going to do a set and kind of judge from there. So All right, I think, I don't know. Let me just try. I'll bump it up to 18. I'm wanting to get at least 12 good slow and controlled reps. I think I did like 17 or 18 just now. So this is basically going to be, <laughs> this is going to be right there. So as long as I can still get 12 fairly comfortably, um, I'll stick with it. All right, that's a pretty good weight. Like I said, I'll... Fuck, actually, I forgot how many sets I've even done here. I'll go back and look. I think I've done... That was my second. So I'll do one more with this weight. And then probably do a back down set. Bring it up to like 14 or maybe even 12. And just get some crazy high rep, slow burning reps. And we'll move on. Oof. 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 
All right. Let's get serious here for a second. Well, that'd be more in a second, but let's do a fucking drop set. This might be too much, but I don't know. I feel pretty good, so I'm going to take advantage of it. All right, boys and girls, that's it here. I feel good. I feel good about how, how this went, so let's move on. One more bicep exercise. Probably just two or three sets. Ugh. All right, so since I'm only going to do two or three sets, I mean, it's not really anything different than what I normally do for biceps. You guys know... I know I usually don't go over eight total sets, um, but honestly, more times than not, it's closer to six. So I did four sets on the preacher curl. Um, so I'll probably just do two sets here, unless unless I just feel like I need a third set. But I highly doubt that happens. Um, so since I'm only doing two, I'm gonna go back to old reliable, and I'm gonna do static arm curls. I'm telling you. If you're just looking for a good, a good bicep movement, I would I would recommend finishing biceps with this. So a good bicep movement to finish. Static arm curls is probably one of the best options you can you can go with. It doesn't take a lot of weight. It gives you a crazy pump and burn in your bicep, and it's you know pretty straightforward. You know, yeah. We'll just do two sets here, and then move on. Move on to just. Probably one more exercise for back, and uh, that'll probably be it for today. All right, one more. All right, just for balance. So on the first set, I started with, oh fuck, wait. <laughs> I can't remember now. Um, I think I started with my right arm static and I was curling with the left. <sighs> well, that's what I hope, because on this set, just so, you know, like I said, for balance, I'll start with my left arm static and uh, do the first four reps with the right side. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. All right, just because, again, I feel pretty good today. I'm not going, I'm not trying to kill myself with how heavy I'm going for the most part. I mean, yeah, the first two, three sets of each body part was kind of heavy, but other than that, not too bad. So set these down like another 20 seconds, and then I go into a, I don't know, I guess you call it a drop set, even though it's the same weight. But I'm trying to do straight bilateral curls seated for however many I can get. So. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. That was actually a little tougher than I thought it was going to be. That's all right, though. Like I said earlier, that's the whole fucking point. All right. I really have no idea what I want to do for back to finish. I don't know. I'll figure it out here in a minute. It's what's been working lately. So, I'm going to keep it quick and simple. Do three sets here, kneeling, um, and probably, a, actually, I might even do a double drop set here. So I'll do my three sets, do a drop set, and if it feels good, do another one. I really want to get a crazy burn in my lats before I call this workout. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. Oh. All right, now here's a real question. Do I want to go a little heavier? I want to. That was actually pretty light. You know what? Let me try it. Let me try at least one. If it's too much, I'll go back down. But knowing I have a drop set, maybe even a double drop set, I'm willing to push it a little more right now in these next two sets. These fucking pants, man. Every time I try to kneel down, if I don't pull them up a little bit, pull the slack a little bit, it feels like they're going to fucking rip. God damn it. Come on now. All right, that was pretty good. One more like that with some drop sets, and I'll be very happy. Ooh. 
man, these fucking ideas that I get, you know, all these drop sets and double drop sets, they sound brilliant whenever I say them. And as soon as I go to do them, I'm like, man, what the fuck's wrong with me? <laughs> Why do I torture myself like this? Uh, but I know as soon as I get done with it, I'll be very glad I did it. So let's keep going. <sighs> Oh my god. Okay. Let's try one more. I'll be honest though. I might not I might not get very far with it, but I'll try. Uh let's go up three notches. We'll go to five. Oh my god. That's it. I can't feel my fucking forearms or anything. We're done. Okay. I know I've been saying this for like the past five back training sessions, but I really feel like now I'm on to something, okay? My lats, dude, it is crazy how much burn I am feeling right now in my lats. They haven't felt like this in a while, so it's nice. It's really nice. Um, so, yeah, I, I can see myself doing this routine, you know, not not doing lat pulldowns until about the midway point of my workout. And sometimes maybe even at the very end, you know, I'll keep messing around with it. But I think it's just a change that I needed for my back so hopefully in the months to come um several months i mean it's not going to happen overnight hopefully i start to see the changes i want to see i honestly i already feel like i am sorry i was already starting to see some changes in my back it was definitely getting a little wider you know the width was getting better hopefully this even takes it further so but yeah i'm kind of i don't know i'm kind of being a jackass right now and i'm blocking a good section of dumbbells here so let's try to make this fast i'm gonna do some posing if i can like i said my lats are fucking they're feeling it man but we'll try Shit. Yeah, this is hard. My lights are feeling it, guys.
Uh. All right, we're done just in time. Got 20% battery. We're gonna make this short and sweet. So hopefully, I got some decent shots in there. I don't know. Uh, let's call it a day, man. I'm ready to get out of here. I uh, definitely need to make sure I rest good tonight. All right. Be back tomorrow for for legs. Possibly some cardio. I haven't done it all week, if I'm being honest. So I really need to do it. <laughs> Even if I do it or not, it won't be on the video. So, but yeah, be back tomorrow.